I enjoyed going to work every day of my life. I, um, I never felt that it was a job. It's one of the great things of being a biologist. I can imagine that I'm 10 years old and, and wandering around in the bush and finding frogs. We should care about frogs like we should care about all life. If we stop caring for nature, it will be a sad world. To go to a wetland pond or stream and not to hear frogs would be just so sad. It's really quite easy to communicate with frogs because frogs communicate with sound to one another. You can make those sounds and um, then quite often the frog will answer back. Wark, 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 ink, 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 brrrr, brrrr, pong, 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 um, so you feel a little bit stupid at times, but we, we literally walk through the bush in the Central Coast, Newcastle area, and we start to make their sound. Frogs, more than any other animal that we see, tell us about our environment. They're generally regarded as a canary in the mine because they are bioindicators of change. They're very sensitive to climate change, for example, because they have very limited tolerance to change in temperature and moisture content. 50 million frogs were killed in the fires of 2019-20, and the total number of animals that were estimated to have burnt to death was 3 billion. And the death, the death of 3 billion animals? This is a cry that could be heard across the universe. Um, and, and we had, we all have a part in that. And so, along with colleagues at the University of Newcastle, we sat down and we said, what you must do immediately is preserve the genome of the frog. You must give the future the possibility to save the species. So what we do is collect some males in the field and we then collect from them sperm. We do that without harming the frog. The sperm are cryopreserved and they can stay like that for decades. By Cryopreserving the sperm, we are saving the genetic diversity of the population. Should the species go extinct in the wild, we can bring back the species. I've always been a keen teacher as an academic. One of the roles of an academic is to train the next generation of professionals and scientists. I mean, over my career, I've had something like um, 30 students who have finished a doctorate and a countless number of honour students. University of Newcastle sits among the best universities in the world and we are addressing the problems of climate change. Something about me wanting to help, it's about wanting to make a difference. It's all of our futures that we're, we're talking about. It's not just one person, it's for all of us.